Anchors away. Welcome to Big D Country. I just made law and, uh, well, I just made law again, I should say. But, uh, you know what time it is. It's time for the aftermath. The aftermath of week one of the NFL pe- uh, pickup. And, man, you have a couple of explosive stories for you that it's just ridiculous. I mean, I don't know if you heard the story earlier, but I'm just going to do it as a recap as part of the uh, NFL pickup if you haven't listened to the stories. And if you're listening to us on YouTube land, yeah, I got to do the begging, the uh, the infamous. Don't forget to leave the like and, and, and um, subscribe to the video. Uh, become a citizen of Big D Country if you're watching us from YouTube land. Okay, so this is a uh, week one that's supposed to be the promising new season of the NFL, but it did have some hiccups. Yes, it definitely did have some hiccups. Let me start with Thursday night. Oh boy, Thursday night was a doozy. It was definitely a doozy. So Thursday night, you got uh, you was in Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, home of the Kansas City Chiefs, home of one of my official teams of Big D Country. Okay. So, you would think that when you was when you was picked to do a song to sing in front of thousands of people, you would be static. That's what's in the case of the Boys and Girls Club of Kansas City, Missouri. They got the task of singing "Lift Every Voice and Sing" uh, before the national anthem and before the game, the first game of the official NFL season. Boy, was that ever wrong. Because the saddest thing happened in professional sports. The saddest thing. So, and, 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 and you know, uh, it happened before, like, with, with basketball. There was a lot of people protesting the, uh, the national anthem. And I think it happened in football, too. I'm not even sure. But I know it happened in basketball. But I don't, uh, I may not remember. I don't even know. But uh, this, is, this was the saddest thing that ever happened. So, when the Boys and Girls Club was singing their rendition of Lift Every Voice and Sing, it was pretty good. I finally got to hear it it on video, and it was really good. Then the most disturbing thing happened. After they left the field, you know, to go to where the staging area was or or the meeting area was before they got to uh, do their performance, you know, they all go back to the staging area before, I guess, that they was going to go back to watch game or go home or whatever, whatever they went to, uh, they would go to. Okay, let's just say wherever they went to check in. I don't even know. I never got this chance to do that. Although I did try to sting the Star Bangle banner at a uh, minor league baseball team, but didn't get picked, but who know? Who know? But, uh, so yeah, after, now this wasn't after, uh, this wasn't during the, uh, the performance. I mean, why boo children in the first place? Children should not be booed. Children should not be booed. Okay? Come on. They booed him when they was leaving, like right when they was leaving, you know, right before the football, no, right before the uh, the National Anthem come on, and they probably cheered the gospel singer, because it was the gospel singer that sang the National Anthem. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm still shocked and saddened by that. Okay. Both songs have their place in American history. Uh, the National Anthem, of course, had their, uh, had their place in history because it's been on uh, for the longest. And then, let every voice this thing have uh, this place in the African American Committee. I'm a part of the African American Committee, but I'm also white. Okay. I have mixed friends. I mean, come on. I even married a white woman. Come on. I mean, this is ridiculous. Why are we bringing race into the NFL and fans are booing? Why are we doing that? This is supposed to be get, this is supposed to be America's game. This is supposed to be a game, not just black and white or song versus song versus song. This is supposed to be teams versus teams. I mean, come on. That's ridiculous. I mean, Stephen A. Smith must have had a field day with this one. I'm surprised if he didn't. Oh, my God. That was so sad. That was so sad. Anyway, let's get on with it. And I want to talk when I get to the uh, uh, Aaron, uh, when I get to the Jets part, I had to talk about the other story. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was really 
crazy. Okay, so the Thursday game with the, the Lions versus the Chiefs, the most shocking thing happened. The most shocking thing happened. The Lions, who haven't made the Super Bowl because I don't even know, because at the time, the Lions did, did not exist. They did not exist. The Lions, the Lonely Lions. I don't know when, I mean, I have not even seen the Lions in the Super Bowl. I don't watch a lot of Super Bowls in my time. And the Lions have not appeared in any of the Super Bowl unless I remember. Okay. Oh my God! Now they might have uh, they might have appeared when I uh, w- uh, when I was born or wasn't even thought of, but when I was when I was after I started watching football and and then the Super Bowl, I haven't seen the lion. So I'm only going with by what I see, and I have not seen the lions ever since. Well, Chief Justice friend might be very very happy. Definitely gonna be very, very happy. Now I kind of wish I could have had this at the double down. I wasn't thinking because I thought this was gonna be an easy game. I thought this was gonna be an easy game. I said, "Oh, the Lions versus the Chiefs, the Lonely Lion." Nope. But here's the kicker: they only beat them by one point. The final score was twenty-one twenty. Oh my God, that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Ah. All right, anyway, hopefully that will be better next week around. All right, now, I think I did set this game as a double down. So, so uh, oh, yeah, I already got one loss of the week anyway. Uh, I have to find out how the heck I'm going to keep score because it's been crazy. But anyway, I already have one loss this week already. Uh, but anyway... Uh, the Bengals versus the Browns, I did say that there was another double down. And, yep, sure enough, the Browns won. So, if the final score was 24-3, to three, when it's a double down, that counts as a win. Uh, no matter who wins on the game. So, uh, that's a win for Big D Country. So, one win, one loss. Oh, my God. Not a, no, I think I did do a double down on this one, I think. I'm not sure, but I think I did a double down because I did this, as you, as you know, I did this early. I did this at um podcast movement just in case I had a nervous breakdown during my late life anniversary on August 28th and then again on the uh 2nd of September when we laid my, my, my beautiful late life late, late to rest. Uh, and then everything with Bob Barker and then Bray Wyatt and then uh, Terry Fork. It was just, it was just crazy. It was just absolute. Uh, so I don't know if I did a double down on it. I might have done a double down. I'm not sure. But it, the Texans and the Ravens was nine, um, twenty five. The Ravens won. So, uh, if I done a double double down, then that's the second win. If not, then that's the second loss. Let's just put it that way. And why is this coming up? Come on, I did not want add. Okay. Okay, now I'm. Now I lost my place. I lost my place. Okay, I lost my place and went up too early. Okay. I was at the yeah Texas Brown or Ravens game. I said the Ravens won twenty five to nine. Okay, so I'm good. Okay. All right, so these are all finals. These are all Sundays until I get to the Monday game. Uh, Buccaneers. Oh, Tom Brady's team. Oh, God. They won 20 to 17, so I lost. So that's my. That's definitely my second loss. That's definitely. I went for the Vikings, and that's definitely my uh, second loss of this week. Uh, 2017. Okay. This one was a double down, definitely. Panthers, Falcons, because that was difficult. Uh. But the Falcons won by the score of 24 to 10. Oh, no. You, you, what? You got to be kidding me. The team with the worst name in football won a game? No, 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 no. That should not exist. That do not exist. You mean the team with the worst name won a game? You got to be kidding me. 
Cardinals versus Commanders. I chose the Cardinals over the Commanders because I don't like the team with the worst name in football. It's not even a scary. And yet they won by the score of 20 to 16. That's my third loss for the week. Third loss. Oh, my God. This is terrible. Okay, so, so far I have one confirmed win, and I have three confirmed losses already. Wow. Wow. Okay, this one was definitely a double down. That This I remember. So, it is going to be a second uh, second win. Okay, so Jaguars versus uh, Colts. And Jaguars won by the score of 31-21. Wow. Okay. I think, I don't know if I did this with that du- double down, so I probably might have tied it up. I might have I might have tied it up if I did this as a double down, but if I did, I tied it up. If I didn't, that would be my fourth loss. But either way, uh, Steelers 49ers, uh, wow. Steelers never showed up to the building. Yikes. The final score was 30-7. to 49ers was all over the Steelers. What the hell happened? Yikes. Anyway. Okay. This one was another double down. So this would be my fifth win if I did do a double down. So it would be 5-3 for the week if I did. Or 5... Or 5... I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I, I don't have a scoring system yet because everything was so crazy. But let's just say... Let's just say it's a double down, and it'll be uh, it'll be five three for the week so far. Titans versus Saints, and it's a one point affair again here too. So, uh, the Saints won by sixteen over the Titans. Okay, so at least one of my team official teams of Big D Country won. One of my official teams of Big D Country won. At least that's the. And I had to do a double downs because of the fact who they played. I'm talking about the Raiders played Denver Broncos. And I went, oh, yeah, and I was in Denver for podcast movement. Yes. So, another one-point affair. Boy, what is all these one-point affairs on the first week of the NFL? What's going on here? So, obviously, it's 6-3. 6-3, thanks for the double down. I'm keeping these double down rules in force. Especially because of what happened in week, week one. I'm keeping double down rules in force because this is ridiculous. Anyway, 17-16 um, Raiders, one of my teams. But I did do a double down because I don't like the Patriots still. But thank you, Eagles. Thank you, Eagles. And I'll tell you why I said thank you. And, and that gave me my... What did I say? Six, six, three. Now it's seven, three. Uh, the Eagles won over the Patriots by the score of twenty-five to twenty. Thank you, Eagles. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, but now I got my fourth loss again. Okay, because I do not like the, I do not like the uh, the traders, the Rams, the one that traded, uh, betrayed uh, St. Louis. And left St. Louis without a football team, and then had to go all the way to Kansas City to cheer for them. So, I got my fourth loss. I wanted the Seahawks to win, but it was thirteen thirty. Rams. Yeah. All right. Uh, Dolphins versus the Chargers. I did a definitely what the double down, so it'll definitely bring you to my eighth win, uh, for the week or my. Uh, my uh, my eight win. Okay, so eight wins, four losses. I'm trying to keep a track of this. Uh, the Dolphins won over the Chargers. I think it's not that I mean like that team, the Dolphins. And I know Vice President Jared uh probably like that team unless I miss my guess. But they'll correct me if I made a long shot. And there is no king of long shot. There is no queen of long shot. It's not part of the Constitution of Big D Country. Long shot is made when you make a mistake, and it's part and, and it was part of a tribute to not to call somebody a king or queen of long shot. You hear that, Todd? I'm calling you out. You hear that? It's not to call nobody a queen or king of long shot. There is no queen or queen because it do not exist. It do not exist. Okay. 
Not only got that off our hands. Uh, so, yeah, so it's eight wins, only four losses so far. Hi. Right. This one with another Devil Down, so definitely going to be nine wins. So, uh, the Green Bay Packers versus the Bears. Uh, the Green Bay Packers won by the score of 38-20. And now, take on the fun part. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Nick that complimented me on, you know, especially because I live here in Texas, and I, I cheer for now the Texans, the Cowboys, and yes, I still cheer, uh, cheer for the Chiefs. But, wow, I mean, <laughs> New York Giants, what the hell? You didn't even show up to the game. You wasn't even there. Oh my God! Hi, yi yi. Uh, you re you ready for the score? This is only week one. Week one. <laughs> you, want to, you want to hear the freaking score? <laughs> oh my God! The score is forty to nothing. I kid you not, I shit you not. 40 to nothing. I'm looking at the same thing. I'm looking at the same thing, 40 to nothing. I can't believe it. On the first week of the regular season of the NFL, I can't believe it. We have a shutout. We have a shutout. <laughs> oh, my God of all. Wow. Wow. That was your Sunday night primetime game, by the way. I mean, the Cowboys really shined on the uh, primetime. Definitely. Definitely. It was their night. It was definitely their night. Now, your Monday night action takes us to uh, Buffalo Bills and the Jets. It was a New York affair. It's a New York state of mind. But the big news is uh, Aaron Rodgers... Aaron Rodgers was injured after a quarterback sack on the first drive. I found this out while watching YouTube on CBS Sports, uh, CBS Sports, and I was like, "No way! Aaron Rodgers was just traded to the Jets. He was just, he was just, he just, he just came to New York. It was supposed to be his first game, and he already got injured. The first quarter, the opening drive." The first quarter in the opening drive. What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? This is only the first week of the NFL. We don't know. They don't know how long that Aaron Rodgers is going to be out. Last time I checked, they were going to do x fight and everything like that. So, if I hear any more, more about Aaron, uh, Aaron Rodgers, I'll bring it to you during the next part, the next time that I do the NFL pickup, which is the week two aftermath. Oh, yeah, I already did week two. Uh, predictions already, so uh, I'm on. I'm on fine for that game. But uh, the next time I do the NFL pickup, if I hear any more information about Aaron Rodgers, I will definitely, definitely uh, let you know. But the uh, the Jets did put it off, uh, and it, I did say it was a double down. And Chief Justice did remind me that uh, I have won the double down. So it's not, uh, nine win. What was it? Eight, eight, four. A four, so it's now it's nine wins, so it's only nine four. Yeah, still good, still pretty good, still pretty good. Nine four for the week. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. So the Jets versus the Bills. Uh, the Jets won twenty two to sixteen, even without Aaron Rodgers. Wow, that was that was crazy. Week one was already crazy. It was already crazy for week one. Wow. Anyway, so. That was a crazy, crazy week one. I don't know what, how week two is going to end up, but oh, my God. That was a doozy already. Anyway, uh, this is uh, Big D Country. Uh, this is home of the best citizen on the net today. And, wow. Whew, till then, take care of yourself and each other. The late great, um, the late great Jerry Springer. And for Bob Barker fan, uh, help to control the pet population, have your pets spayed or neutered.